Hi there, this is Huha Sports Today, your daily sports update and review show covering all that's happening in your world of football and beyond. Well, today we look towards the first weekend of November and it's setting up to be an exciting one where there could be some significant changes in the standings. First, a look at the fixtures. Newcastle and Everton kick off the weekend's action and can move above Manchester United for at least a couple of hours. That's until United take on Sunderland in a match at Old Trafford that will be momentous as Sir Alex Ferguson celebrates 25 years at the helm. Blackburn could receive a backlash from Chelsea as the Blues will want to make an about turn after two defeats on the trot and a lackluster one all draw with Genk in the Champions League. Liverpool will find it tough against Swansea and Anfield as they try to keep pace with the rest of the pack. A rejuvenated Arsenal play West Brom, while the other Saturday fixtures see Aston Villa go up against Norwich and Manchester City make a trip to London to face Rangers. On Sunday, 17th takes on bottom of the table Wigan. Bolton, who desperately need a win, entertains Stoke and Spurs will face former boss Martin Yol at Craven Cottage in one of the lesser-known London derbies. Let's just take a quick peek at the table as it stands and see what could possibly happen with the top half standings. Win, lose or draw, City will still be perched at the top of the table. The interesting one is Manchester United and Newcastle. Should Newcastle beat Everton, they'll reach dizzying heights, as Ferguson's Red Army would want to give the gaffer a memorable gift to mark his silver anniversary at the club. For Chelsea, it's nothing but a win to at least have a chance of stealing back third. And Blackburn won't be pushovers after all, they did beat Arsenal at Ewood Park. Spurs who play on Sunday will wait and see what happens the day before. Liverpool can go above them with a win over Swansea, while Arsenal looks certain to close the gap with a potential win over West Brom. As for us, we will be with the Newcastle boys for our Fans Life edition this weekend as they take on Everton. And we are hoping to celebrate with them if they get the three points and go second. We'll have that episode for you on Sunday through to Monday. So just log on to hooha.my or visit our Facebook page to catch the reaction. So till Tuesday when we will wrap up the weekend that was in the Premier League. Have a great sporting weekend but for the time being from the team and I, it's bye for now.